Morning, everyone. Here's your Eastern Idaho weather and hazard briefing for Wednesday, October 7th. We have one more day with high pressure hanging over us and bringing some nice weather our way. However, the ridge starts breaking down tomorrow. It's going to be breezy. We've got some pretty low uh, humidity values for tomorrow afternoon. And then the ridge continues to break down, and by this weekend, our expected rain and mountain snow event will arrive later Saturday and continuing into Sunday, it looks like at this point. Looking at our weather impact matrix, not a lot of impacts. Tomorrow we're going to be maybe flirting briefly with red flag conditions across the Arco Desert, also down across the South Hills, especially impacting the Badger Fire, and also across the Central Mountains. Other than that, we will be waiting until the rain and snow showers arrive Saturday and Sunday. And where we have those highlighted in the orange colors, that's where we could have some burn scar issues, especially with some more recent fires across the area. Snow levels on Saturday look to be dropping to around six to 7,000 feet. We're not expecting a lot of accumulation, but some pretty good rainfall amounts across portions of the central mountains over in the eastern highlands, the southeast corner. Some of the middle and higher elevations could see anywhere from a half an inch to an inch of precip in about a 48-hour period. That's definitely um, some much-needed moisture across our area. Our first wave is this weakening low to the south. That's going to come skirting through. It's not going to produce precipitation. That's going to increase the wind a little bit for tomorrow. And here's the big shift out across portions of the Pacific. That is what is headed our direction by the time we get into Saturday, Sunday, and maybe Sar Sunday night into Monday morning across the area. Well, in the short term, though, we're going to still have to worry about the smoke. And you can see here with our smoke forecast, you can see that smoke will continue to push in from the south and f to the east. We're not expecting anything maybe other than some uh, lower visibility in some areas. It may not even be that much, especially since we have very few more, lo uh, more localized fires burning across the area. But it'll definitely be hazy, a little smoky out there. At this point, no air quality concerns. And this trend will continue on through as we go into the next day or so with that southwest flow continuing across the area. By the time we get to Thursday into the daytime, a little thicker smoke still trying to move in, and that trend will definitely continue. You can see down in California, Washington, and Oregon, the fires just have continued to burn and really not much of a let up in those particular areas. Now, how are we looking with that precip coming in Saturday into Sunday? Here is kind of a look at how it may progress. Uh, this has given you kind of uh, a p an idea of where it should pre rain and snow for the most part, where some of the higher amounts are, especially you'll notice going into Sunday, Sunday night into Monday, those areas favoring the sawtooth over along the border from uh, basically around Palisades up through uh, West Yellowstone. Some of those areas could see, like I said, a half an inch to an inch, maybe a little bit more. It just all depends on one set where some of this heavy precipitation falls. Of course, we are looking at some precipitation across the Snake Plain, but definitely favoring the higher elevations. We're going to go beyond that, and you'll notice the amounts don't grow a whole lot, especially across Idaho and surrounding areas. The pattern shifts northward with the ridge building back in for the middle part of next week. So we may see some pretty cool weather in the short term. A slow rebound, though, once we get into next week. So how does everything shape up looking at things a little more specifically? For this afternoon, we're going to see some 80s popping back up in the afternoon temperature forecast, especially over from Pokey back towards the Magic Valley on south towards the Utah border. It might even approach 80 up around Chalice this afternoon. For this afternoon, humidities continuing to slowly drop, many areas into the teens, and the higher elevation is 20 to 25 percent. For tonight, the poor recovery it continues in the mountains, and some areas still only 20 to 25 percent humidity for tonight. And where we have some fires going, that means those fires could keep burning, or if we get a new fire to develop, they'll certainly continue burning in the overnight hours. Here we are for tomorrow. Not much change temperature-wise. Humidities continue to drop about 3 to 5% tomorrow across the board. Now, this is where we're talking about we're going to be close to maybe red flag conditions in some areas. For tomorrow afternoon, some gusts 20 to 30 across the Arco Desert. Some areas 20, 25, and some select ridge tops up into the Central Mountains. 20 to 25 uh, down towards the Badger Fire and also across the Bear River Range. 
those gusts do continue, maybe uh, shifting more to the Central Mountains, the Arco Desert, tomorrow afternoon. But again, no red flag warnings in effect, just some pockets of where we could see critical fire conditions developing uh, for a brief period tomorrow. Then as we go into tomorrow night, still poor humidity recovery, but this is where things start to change. Temperatures slowly dropping, as you'll notice, on Friday a couple of degrees. The humidity starts to come up as well. Some uh, Even the lower elevations seeing some humidities around 25 to 30 percent. You can see the overnight humidity really coming up Friday night into Saturday morning. Temperatures still dropping a bit. Not as cool as we originally thought on Saturday. This things are delayed just enough, but still many areas only in the 60s and 70s. We're going to Sunday. 40s and 50s, 30s if you're headed up to the really high elevations for afternoon highs on Sunday with the, that rain and snow amounts maybe 1 to 3 inches way up there above 7,500 feet. And you can see by the time we get into Monday, not much of a temperature difference. And then Tuesday we start that slow recovery as we die out across our area. So once again, we've got high pressure for another day where a ridge starts breaking down tomorrow. It'll be a little breezy. The rain and mountain snow holds off until later Saturday, definitely Saturday night into Sunday. If you have any questions, do give us a call. Otherwise, have a great day and stay safe out there, everyone.